One thing that I always heard is you have to choose one career and do one thing and move on your life with that. Eu sou o Gabriel, sou fotógrafo. Eu nasci e cresci em São Paulo e agora eu moro no Rio Grande do Sul, em Canoas. When I'm shooting outside, like street photography or architectural photography, I just like to grab my camera and go. I let things flow and see what I can find. This is Juca. He's 16 years old. He's eating the plant. <laughs> It was a process to get from architecture photography to lifestyle photography. One thing that I like about shooting at home, that I can really take my time and think things over to have exactly what I was expecting to have. I always like to do a test before. I always put the lights in the right place and see how things are going to work. And we try many things. And not all the things that I try work. In this case, I thought, what would happen if I make a photo shoot with a very monochromatic backdrop, like something that would flatter the skin tones of the models, respecting their own original color? I'm really trying to represent Brazilian culture. I like to shoot in groups to show people getting together and having fun. It always got really dynamic photos, even though it's much harder to control. Adobe Stop reached me to talk about some projects and images that they want to do for Latin market and Brazilian market. I was really excited of shooting this content for them. They care about the voice of the artists and they really want to showcase what we are doing and how we see the world. I'm also really enjoying making videos, kind of mix and match, a bit of both. They were giving me full flexibility in how I wanted to do it to portray my own way. I was trying to bring as much people as possible from different backgrounds, ages and ethnicities to portray on different activities. I had a series of photos with people with disabilities. I realized how little I knew about it. I think Adobe Stock is really making an effort to change what we see on the stock libraries. Some people can never leave the camera out of their hands, but I just can't, you know? I, I like to enjoy with my own eyes. I love photography, but for me, it was very important to acknowledge that I have multiple interests and not to be closed by just one choice. Really hear that gut feeling and go for it. You won't regret it. <laughs>